good Tuesday morning. So, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, I don't think SHTF is going to be one thing. It's going to be a lot of things going down at once. And I've said that it's probably going to be like a World War plus a uh, maybe like a civil war or a revolutionary war in the United States at the same time. It's going to be all of this stuff happening like at one time. So it's going to be a big clusterfuck of SHTF kind of deal. So what happened yesterday on Monday around, <clears throat> I want to say around 7 p.m. Eastern time, the FBI raided Trump's house in Florida. Now, um, if you've been paying attention to the news, then you know the FBI has been, well, shall I say, rogue or, um, they haven't been the same. They, they've been, uh, yeah, rogue. Rogue, yeah, I guess that's the, I guess that's the correct term. FBI has been rogue lately. I mean, you know, if you've been paying attention, you, you'd be able to tell that. Okay, they're, they're doing shit that they're not supposed to be doing. <clears throat> and apparently this is over like January 6th stuff. I don't, I don't know exactly. All I know is this has never happened before. The FBI has never raided a president's house before. And yes, you could go ahead and say, hey, he's not the president anymore. Yeah, go fuck yourself. He was, he was an American president. Um, and is unofficially running again for 2024. So, this hasn't announced it yet. So this has never been seen before. This has never happened before. We are going into some really, really, really bad times in the United States. Inflation has gone through the roof. We just passed the stupid climate bill or whatever the hell it is that um, was, I guess, the former inflation reduction bill, which will actually increase inflation. So, you know, that's something that we can look forward to is more inflation, but that's something that we already knew was going to happen, so there shouldn't be any surprise there. What else? Uh, China is definitely... 100% going to go after Taiwan and it's only getting closer and closer to zero hour for them doing that um, we already know they're practicing on taking the island right now I'm not saying they're taking the island right now but they're practicing for it um, they're doing military drills around Taiwan and if we, <coughs> if we remember what happened with Russia in Ukraine, Russia was saying, yeah, it's just military drills, and then, boom, special military operation happened in Ukraine, which is ongoing today. So, um, you know, and then the fact that Russia has already announced that they're in a war with NATO right now, um, the United States pledged that it will defend Taiwan against China, um, I want to say the UK said that it will defend Taiwan against China. Russia has stated it will back China in a war with Taiwan. So this right there is all World War III language. So this is what I'm saying. Uh, and I, like I said, I've been saying this for a very, very long time. It's not going to be one thing. It's going to be a lot of different things. And a world war plus a civil war in the United States or something similar is more likely looking like a larger possibility than um, just one thing going on, guys. This is why a lot of us say just to get food, get water, get your medicines, whatever you need right now, because especially if we go to a war with China, guys, we're not getting shit, okay? 
you know, we're not going to have the trade with China like we, you know, have right now or like we used to because all that is going to go out the window if we go into a war with them. Do you seriously think that China is going to ship cheap stuff to a country they're at war with? No. No, they're not going to, okay? If they did, that would be just ridiculous. <clears throat> um, so yeah, guys, get ready because who knows what's going to happen. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on if, if all of this happens. Yeah, it's, expect some, uh, expect dark days ahead. And um, let's hope there's no draft. Because there's a lot of people that aren't gonna be willing to fight for Biden's America, okay?